Happy, happy Saturday morning. This is Returning to Life, Wayne 69, coming to you from this backyard suburban food forest. And as you can see here, I have my lovely banana plant here. And it's growing and producing new leaves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fertilize it. It also has two new pups. I haven't actually three new pups now. Um, I have to decide whether to cut some of these down or let them continue to grow because I don't want them to outgrow this cut in half IBC wicking grow bed. And uh, I'm going to trim some leaves, some lower leaves. I'm going to trim these lower leaves off too so more of the energy can go up to the uh, banana plant so it can produce faster. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to fertilize this with some chicken manure. I'll scrape some of this back. And I'm going to give it some good organic fertilizer here. And as you can see, it's overhead, overhead uh, clouds. As we've been getting rain showers, which is good. These guys love rain. I'm just going to Put a lot of this manure right along the base of this banana plant, like that. And I'll cover it back up with the mulch. Kind of get it in the soil a little bit more. Just like that. These guys love organic fertilizer. So now we got that done. We'll just cover it back up. Just like that. And then I'll come back. I'm going to prune, I'm going to prune this, some of these lower leaves off, the parent, the main parent plant, I'm going to prune all this off right here, prune some of these big leaves off, so the energy can be focused up in the, uh, Look at those beautiful, 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 uh, excuse me, beautiful blue skies. Cloudy, but still beautiful. So the energy can focus, be focused up in the upper canopy. That's what you want to do. So this is Virginia to Life Wing 69 coming to you from this backyard suburban food forest on a very hot, humid humid uh, morning but I'm going to show you something else I'm just going to zoom in over here look at my corn look at that corn and my corn is finally developing tassels I'm so happy I came out here and I seen tassels I'm going to zoom in here see those tassels Finally, that means I'm going to be getting some ears of corn here soon. Here's another tassel. That is awesome. So this is my first time growing corn in the food forest. And I'm growing everything in these large cut in half IBC toasts that I've turned into wicking grow beds. This is a very, very inexpensive way to make a very large grow bed out of reusable material these are food grade ibc totes so all they had in them was food syrup stuff like that for food production and uh, i turned them into ibc totes and we're going to go over here and look at my 
I always pronounce this wrong. Let me pull this weed out of here. I always pronounce it wrong, but I'm gonna say turmeric, 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 turmeric. And as you can see, look how big these turmeric, turmeric leaves are. And I'm gonna have a nice turmeric, turmeric crop. <laughs> Keep messing that up this year. And as you can see, I'm getting new shoots all through this grow bed as it grows more and more, it sends out shoots. And that's what you want. That means you gotta get an organic soil. And uh, I gotta get in here and do a little weeding. I see a couple weeds in my grow beds, but not much. But if you do it when you see them, you don't have to worry about it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Then we're gonna come over here and I got some new stuff growing in here. I got some uh, tomatoes and different varieties of peppers. I actually replanted this because I had melons in here that I harvested already, so I replanted this grow bed. I'm waiting for these guys to take off. But as you can see, I have cucumbers. Look at that. I got cucumbers galore. And the bumblebees are adoring most of the pollination. And as you can see, there's one right now flying around in the canopy there. I can zoom in on him, on her. There she goes. And uh, the bumblebees are doing a great job pollinating all my stuff. I'm going to be uh, building some bumblebee hives to uh, go in the food forest for next year. That's right, bumblebee hives. You know, not to harvest honey, because you can't really harvest honey from bumblebee hives, but to pro provide uh, pollination. And look at there, I got one of the, uh, my pest control, my free pest control. He's on the, he's on the, on the job. That bumblebee's flying right by him. And he tried to get that bumblebee, but <laughs> that wouldn't have been a good idea. So. I got cucumbers growing everywhere on here now. And I got some bigger ones in there. There's one right there, you can see it. I have to go on the other side. There's a small one. And uh, without the pollinators, you know, uh, there's no food. I'm getting some uh, aphid aphid damage too I notice on some of my leaves so I might come out here and get some neem oil and spray everything down I might do that on the cucumber plant but everything's looking good in the food for us and I'm always expanding it and uh, come over here to the pomegranate that I planted this year I hasn't produced anything yet because I just planted it. This thing was this thing was only a it was small. It was like 12 inches tall. Now look at it. It's growing like crazy. I got to get in here and actually I got to get in here and uh, prune it down here. Get rid of all this lower branch stuff. And I'll do that today once I get done with the banana. It's important to prune everything and keep everything pruned properly so it grows properly. So I'll get down there and prune it today. Also, before it's too hot, right now it's overhead clouds, so it's keeping the sun at bay. But this is Virginia to Life Wayne 69 coming to you from his backyard. Uh, suburban food forest. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, please share. And have a nice Saturday until next time, which will probably be soon again today. I'll see.